Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I'm going to teach you guys a few little tricks with speed squares. So one about finding angles, maybe a few about measurements and common dimensions on the speed square, and one about making really square cuts. So let's start with the really square cuts, because this is a real easy one. Okay, so I got this piece of 2x4 here that I cut a bunch of shims out of, and I'd like to put a cut on this. So, I mean, if you're experienced, of course, you can pretty easily make a reasonably square cut just by eyeing up your fence. However, if you're new and you want to make a really square cut, or if you just want an actually deadly square cut, there's a real easy trick you can do with your speed square. All right, so the trick is to use your speed square as a guide. So it's important which way you put it, but you put it like this, hang on to it. The first thing you can do is just sort of eyeball where you want to cut on that piece of wood, slide your square up to it. You got to hold it real tight, especially if you have a sticky guard on your saw, but you just simply push along like this. So I now have a perfectly square cut right here, as long as my speed square didn't move while I did it. And it's important to not do it like this, because what happens there is as soon as you start pushing along, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit your motor. So the motor can't go over there without tilting the saw out of square. So I'll always do it like that, but that's a great way to get a really square cut. And if you've got a little line that you're going to, so you can have your line here, let's say, Let's say you need it right here. You just need to cut this little bit off of here. So what you do, again, is you gotta kinda eyeball your mark like so, get it started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut about a sixteenth away from the line and we'll see how it looks. So as we can see, it's really, really square there. All right, next let's get into a couple of real quick things here about the speed square. So obviously we mark our lines right there. Let's say you want to mark out, like let's say you're doing layout on a plate. So right here is your inch and a half mark. And now you've got the width of a two by four. If you need to mark two of them, which is often the case. And we got another mark right here. That's your second two by four. So real simple marks there. Now every square might be a little different. In this case, this is one inch right here. And often, if I need to make a quick three quarter inch mark, so this is, on mine, it's actually just a hair over three quarters, but it's close enough in most cases. So maybe I'm accounting for some sheathing. I know that I can just put that right there and make a quick mark. And I've got a three quarters of an inch mark too for doing layout and stuff like that, if that's my sheathing. So there's a couple of quick things you can do with a speed square. Next, finding angles. So I usually never have my angle finder because it kind of looks like a prison shank and my children steal it. Um, but I'm pretty good at finding out angles just with a speed square real quick. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put one thing right here. And so some of you are gonna be bent, it's gonna be a 45. So two 22 and a half degree cuts. You don't know that. Were you here when it got framed? Okay. So, I'm gonna line this up right here. Make sure they're both nice and flush. Quick mark across here. Let's get you guys closer so you can really see. Okay, so as you can see, we've just made a quick mark right here. Okay, so now to find the angle. I mean, of course, we can go like this and see. All right, <laughs> that actually is bang on 45. So that means to get a miter for those two cuts, we would do 22 and a half degrees. Um, but if you're actually going to find it out, so what you do is you place the corner of your square right here on that mark, on the corner of that line, you go out like that, and you read what it is right here. So right here we have exactly 45 degrees. Okay, but let's draw some random angle and see if we can make this work. Alright, so I'm just going to draw something right here. And then we'll go somewhere right about right here. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do there. So let's pretend this is the outside of a house and we need to figure out what this angle is right here. So if I was standing on the outside of the house and maybe I was able to draw on the ground, one of the things that you can do to get the exact angle is you can draw this line right here. You can draw another line right here. Oh, I 
should have drawn that other line all the way through, but I forgot. And then what you do is you take these two points right here and you can bisect those. And so if you have an angle finder, then you can know what that is. But that's what that's gonna be. So that's actually our miters. But let's do it the quick way with the math like I was originally gonna show you. So take one piece, take the other, draw our line. All right, so here's where it gets a little bit more complicated, you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line that up right there and we're gonna slide it over until we're on our line. And what we can see is we have 21 degrees. So I'd love to think it's as simple as just doubling 21 degrees. Okay, so our cut's gonna be like 42 degrees or something like that, but it's not. So here's how we have to look at it. You always kind of come back to right angles. So we've got 21 degrees. All right, let's go to a 90 degree angle. So 90 minus 21 is 69. And 69 cut in half is 34.5, I believe. So right here. So there's usually a mathematical way to figure these out. 34.5, I'm gonna make a couple cuts at 34.5 and see if we're right. So yes, an angle finder is the way to go, you guys, but sometimes you don't have that and you just wanna have the tools to figure it out. Sticky guard. Okay, the moment of truth. See what happens. All right, that's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. Let's uh, let's look along these lines to actually prove it. All right, as we can see there, we're on our line there. We're on our line there. For all intents and purposes, we're pretty darn close to those lines. Well, you guys, that worked out. So, I mean, this isn't like necessarily a how to do things all the time. It's more like, I'm just trying to help you get acquainted with the speed square and also teach you how to think a little more like a carpenter. So math and geometry is actually something we use a lot, especially when doing layout. So it's just helping teach you how to like start thinking about right angles and angles and you know math, like it's all 90 degrees or 180 degrees. So we use that sort of stuff all the time. So hopefully this video helps you start thinking a little more like a carpenter. I wanna say thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys got something out of this and uh, till the next video. Oh, one last thing, quick little tip. Carpenter's pencil is Carpenter's pencil is 9 sixteenths wide, but it's a quarter inch wide on this way. Pretty close to it. So, you know, the same way that I use the speed square for quick rough measurements, I'll often use a pencil. It's just a bit over quarter inch, bit over half an inch that way, but it's enough to give you a rough idea. Anyways, um, yeah, hopefully you guys are getting more used to the tools of the trade. Thanks for watching. Till the next video.